Um, oh, and there's also that guy that's been making the rounds that everybody what loves guy? that they're very bullish on. Oh, look <laughs> up this guy, nice. <laughs> Ch- Chamath Polly Hopitia. I hope I'm pronouncing. Oh yeah. Right. He's the CEO of something called Social Capital, which like claims to or aims to solve the world's hardest problems. Oh, good. Yeah. And everybody's been sharing his videos and, and, and you know, because he's saying he's all the right things. he's a straight shooter. Yeah. yeah. He's and telling it like it is. I like, you know, I have no proof. I have no evidence. But like, mark my word, this guy is a snake and he will be exposed as such. Like, just Ooh, he gives me Anna. such alarm bells. <laughs> no, he does. Because it's like, you know, um, I, I, he, he like reminds me of these guys that like, you know, when you're on vacation and you're walking around, they walk up to you and they're like, uh, don't go down that alley. That's where the picket pickpockets hang out. And then they like, you know, Take steal you your wallet when you're out. not looking. Yeah, right. Like he's that dude. And like, uh, I don't know. He's, he scares me. I think, look, you I have was, good instincts. Uh, yeah. Well, for those kind of people, like, uh, solutioneers. Right. I feel like, you know, like the other Belarusian genius of Genny Morozov warned us <laughs> about solution years. Yeah. Who like invent problems just so that they can take credit so can for them. Disrupt them. them. Yeah. 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 I'm reticent to sort of hero worship any you yeah. know. I'm not I'm very I'm try I'm staying very like on the sidelines, just observing. Yeah. I, is socialism over? Yeah. Right? I think so. We're yeah. over it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. That's one good thing. It that seems like everyone Biden just wants to participate in the free market. Yeah. That seems like a um more of a priority. Yeah. And maybe an easier way to ease some of our societal ills than advocating for the ancient democratic <laughs> socialist <laughs> candidate who's just going to sell you out to the Democrats anyway. Has Bernie said <clears throat> anything? He's made some like kind of pithy tweets last time I checked. I've had five oh, funds. Oh. millionaires, billionaires, this and that. Um, I haven't. I've had food poisoning. Full disclosure. Oh yeah, right. So we can talk about I'm getting that. even skinnier. We yeah. don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as far as I know, Sanders hasn't. Uh, he said, Wall Street cannot continue functioning as a gambling casino. It's time for a tax on Wall Street speculation so that we can raise the funds to cancel student debt and make public colleges and universities tuition free. The business model of Wall Street is a fraud. He's just kind of playing. He's on autopilot, it seems. We don't need any more college. I mean, cancel <laughs> the debt, but let's no. not encourage any more people to go to college. I mean, some people should go to college, just not people just like who study the humanities. People. Yeah. We still need like... Yeah, scientists and people who actually know how to do do stuff. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> though, I guess though science is like the stock marking market and like modeling, as you point out, uh, totally fake and gay. Also, now of course, yes. Um, but but you know, in a functioning society, we need people to you know have access to yeah. higher education. Yes, in in an ideal kind of like in an ideal, ideally healthy institutional um, setting, but yeah, I mean, I think like that that's the, the, that's the catch twenty two here. Like one of the best things to come out of this, obviously, is that it really undeniably and ambiguously puts to rest any illusion that our institutions are legitimate. Not that the <laughs> stock market was ever vying for, you know, at, at the top of the pyramid of legitimacy. But like uh, that's also the worst thing because I feel like barring uh, you know a healthy institutional climate, these sort of things are, will only ever be like meme rebellions. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they're mm. always going to be consigned to like being like small, like little flashpoints of. Well, I think a meme rebellion is sort of appropriate for the market because the market seems to be mimetic anyway yeah. like there's no or at least we can understand that nothing has any value anyway yeah so it seems like it's a fi- it's a fitting kind of descent yeah. at least because it's all happening in this like highly charged symbolic realm yeah and it was like sublime artistic realm i mean like the stock market really is one of our greatest works of art it really <laughs> is it's like yeah the net artists couldn't have dreamt up this scenario <laughs> yeah. they wish 
Um, I have a really stupid question. Yeah. Do other countries have stock markets? Yes, I think they <laughs> do. And I think there's also like a global one that like, I don't know. Actually, you don't want to quote me on that. They have their own. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they totally do. They have their own like stock exchanges and stuff like that. Even like not like shithole countries. Um, that's a good question. And then there's probably like all the main Western ones do. Okay. And it's, it is global. Yeah. Right. But it's New York based. <laughs> yeah. It's all on New York time. Yeah. And they I mean, don't I think go out on the floor anymore and yell because of COVID. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, that sucks. But I think like COVID probably just accelerated an existing trend, which is going out on the trading floor is becoming obsolete because there's so the many bell. like, tr- <laughs> yeah, trade, there's so many like digital trading floors. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I liked when they wheeled out some uh, kind of like dead or dying celebrity to like... Carrie did it on Sex and the City. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I feel like Larry King must have done it. They Martha should Stewart. let us do it. Yeah, they really let should. Let us ring the virtual bell. We can jumpstart the, <laughs> the physical trading floor. Um, that's where um, Fearless Girl is, right? In Fide Eye? Yeah. She's next to that bull. Yeah. Okay. It's bullish, girlish. Yeah. <laughs> That's very sexual. Um, yeah. I was uh, I was down at Fide Eye like a couple weeks ago and there were some Chinese people taking selfies with the bowl per usual. It yeah, seemed like things that. were functioning yeah. smoothly. <laughs> American stock um, market. I definitely that really miss that. Japanese and Chinese. <laughs> I'm sure there's Japanese people yeah. there too. I do miss the Wall Street Equinox location. That was yeah. one of the one of the best ones. That downtown nice. at least. Have you ever had sex with a Wall Street guy? No. Huh. I okay. haven't lived in New York that long. True, yeah. Um and I don't think I wouldn't even know how to encounter them, I guess. I see. Have okay. you? I have, yes. Ooh. But he was Indian, that's yeah. why. Cool. Because that's my that's my beat or was my beat I before love I switched Indian to Jewish guys. guys. <laughs> That's really cool. No, it was really. Did he give you? Any, no, it was not cool. It was really. He gave me like herpes or something. Did I'm he kidding. give you any just the stock tips? Um, <laughs> no, but um, he was pretty short and very rapey. Hmm. Yeah, they do seem rapey. They're all <laughs> fired up. Yeah. I'm going to watch Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Watch that instead of the big short, which is really, a, again, a deplorable movie that underserves Christian Bale's talent by making him overact. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen it, but and maybe then you should watch it because it's like so comically bad, you know? Okay. I'm ready. I'm I'm high on on stuff. On stock. I'm ready for um I can ride this wave. Yeah. Ooh, um going long on stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what God. else what else is there to say about stocks? Let's see mm. if I have any notes. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, I think that the, the, the upside and the downside of this is like my prediction is this is unlikely to have any, there will, un, it's unlikely that there will be any like permanent crackdowns on normie trading. Mm. Um, because, you know, I understand that a lot of people after the discord went down and wall street bets was threatened and Robin hood started menacing, uh, retail traders or whatever I think a lot of people understandably were concerned that they would just be frozen out of right. the market but I kind of feel like that's not going to happen because I think like they're holding well even if they you know even once this is said and done I feel like uh, for the you know for the simple reason that kind of the elites need the normies to cover the dirt that they're doing Mm. through mechanisms like robin hood i mean i think they figured it out and it's and it's kind of like here to stay yeah um i feel like it would be kind of like suicidal or maybe like not suicidal but definitely self-harm to 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 freeze them out um another stupid question yeah there's just an infinite number of stocks no, I don't think finite. So. I think it's finite. So, how many GameStop stocks are there? I have no idea. We should have like looked this up uh, it's before so, we, we so should have fact check this. Um, 
But I think especially now after this um, meme revolution, there's been an influx of new normies into places like Wall Street bets, right? Like I think their membership well, yeah. skyrocketed. And I actually think that the Discord um, getting suspended didn't really make much of a difference yeah. because once there was a huge influx of users, I feel like kind of the core group of Wall Street Bets users already kind of like branched off into sort right. of fringe. You can't it's like cutting off like um Medusa's head or whatever the Yeah. <laughs> more snake heads sprout and stuff. It's like it's um they've already kind of done done the work, okay? <laughs> um to organize <laughs> 